So in this video, we're gonna talk about diet breaks, what it means and how you're gonna do it. So basically, if you've gone through a period of fat loss, maybe six weeks, eight weeks or 12 weeks or whatever, at the end of that, you're gonna to need to know what to do. Now this is where the magic happens. So you know fat loss happens through a calorie deficit, but right here, right now, where I'm gonna to talk to you about diet breaks is where the magic happens, where you can keep this fat loss on for the long term because you learn what to do when you're not actually actively losing weight. So this calorie balance we talk about happens all the time, even at the weekends, even when you go out for a night out, even during holiday periods and Christmas and things like that, you're still gonna gain weight if you eat too much. Now, what I'm not saying is don't always be in a calorie deficit. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying you always have to diet and you always have to watch what you eat. That's not what I'm saying. But there has to be some sort of awareness around what you eat, even during them periods, if you don't want to end up back where you started. So what you don't want to do is end up getting trapped in the diet, diet, diet mentality and always be in a calorie deficit and always be hungry and deprived. This is where you can get some sort of unhealthy relationship with food, build or be created or made worse. So it's a good idea to implement diet breaks every six to eight weeks. So you have six to eight weeks of fat loss, you could push it a bit longer if you want to, there's no set period. And then one to three weeks of maintenance, again, there's no set period, so you can adjust that as you feel fit. So simply, all you do is add three to 500 calories on top of your calorie number that you've been using for fat loss. So if fat loss has been happening, that means you're in a calorie deficit. So you simply add three to 500 calories to that, which will take you to a maintenance level. Now don't freak out, you're not dramatically gonna gain weight very, very quickly. But what you will do is hit a maintenance level. You'll probably gain one or two pounds straight away, which will probably be carb and water weight within the muscle, which is great, we want that. After that, you might gain a little bit of weight, but it's not too serious. I'm gonna explain why now. Okay, so let's put it into perspective. Let's say you've lost 12 to 14 pounds over your diet period. Let's say that was six weeks. And then you're gonna gain three to four pounds during this diet break. Two pounds probably from your muscle gain, from your muscle weight and water weight, which is great. And then two pounds a little bit more because some days you might have accidentally went over your 500 calories, which is quite normal. So from the 12 to 14 pounds, you're looking at something like 10 pound weight loss over the actual six weeks plus the three week diet period. So you're still in a good place. So let's say you hit another six to eight weeks diet, you lose a bit more weight, let's say that's another 12 to 14 pounds, and then you repeat the diet break and gain another two to four pounds. Okay, so you're looking at over a 12 to 16 week to 18 week period, a 20 pound weight loss. So you're still in a great place, this is awesome. But what's happening now is much, much more different than perhaps you've ever done in the past. You're actually looking at it in a more sustainable manner and you're learning how to not diet. So you're learning how to eat at maintenance. This is really, really, really important for long-term success once you've lost the weight. So you're actually, you're doing really well. Okay, so why not just go 12 weeks weight loss and then stop or 20 weeks or half a year of weight loss and then stop? Like, why not do that? So let's go a little bit deeper into that now. So what's gonna actually happen is your metabolism is gonna change you're gonna have some hormonal adaptations, some up, some down, some good, some bad. So the worst one's gonna be metabolic adaptation, where your metabolism metabolism is gonna change. Now studies tell us it's not gonna be anything more than 10 to 20%, so it's nothing serious. You're not gonna all of a sudden stop losing weight because of it. For example, there was a guy who dieted for 282 days. Now when I mean dieted, he stopped eating. He fasted for 282 days. During that 282 days, he actually lost 276 pounds. That averaged about five pounds per week. Okay, so we know weight loss will just continue to happen from these studies, there's lots of them. So why don't we just carry on? Now, weight loss comes with some metabolic adaptations. It comes with some hormonal changes which we don't really want, it doesn't feel good and it's not nice. So these changes in hormones can increase hunger, it can increase your appetite, and it can also affect what's going on in here. So you can end up having some issues around adherence and adherence even when you've finished a diet. So you might end up going from dieting for a 
a really long period of time and then just all of a sudden just binging out and gaining all the weight back again. This is studied over and over again. So to mitigate against this, I suggest, or the studies suggest, that we put in place a diet break. And it's also a good idea to get fat loss done as fast as possible and get us back to maintenance as soon as possible so we're not affecting hormones and we're not making us feel crap. So what you can do is time these diet breaks to suit holiday periods, suit Christmas, suit birthdays, suit whenever you're gonna have a period of time where you're gonna consume more calories than you would in other times. So you can time these diet periods to suit your lifestyle, time the, the diet break to suit your lifestyle. They can be as long or as short as you want. So once you've got to somewhere, you've lost weight and you wanna stay around this weight, I'll give you an example of what I do. I've been around the same weight for five or six years now. I stay with between, say, up to about eight pounds fluctuation, up and down, that's about it. So what I personally do is I lightly track about 80% of the time. I don't weigh my vegetables, I don't weigh my fruit. I'm just really rough and don't really care too much about it and I do it really, really quickly and guess a lot of what I eat because I've been doing it for a long time. I go out a lot, I eat out a lot, I'd have days a lot where I don't track and what happens is over a period of time, especially during Christmas or birthdays or holidays, my weight will creep up a little bit and I'll gain a little bit of fat. I don't really worry about it. I just jump into a fat loss phase and I bring my calories pretty low and I get it over and done with as quick as possible and then go back to maintenance as quick as possible. So that fat loss period for me could be two weeks, could be three weeks. If it's summer, I might go a little bit further just to bring me down to my low end of my weight. And I just carry on um, doing this all year round. So in other videos in the future, I'll probably talk about maintaining muscle mass while use, doing fat loss as fast as possible. But for now, this video is just about diet breaks. Any questions, shoot me a message or comment below this video.